Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. If any man, if what? If any American, if any Muganda, if what? Is in Christ. He is an old, and what? A new creature. Not a repaired creature. Not a panel beaten creature. Not a creature in the process of being good. If any man is in Christ, he's what? A new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are what? And new. All things we know that is death, spiritual death that came with Adam. And all things are new we, knew, we know is a spiritual life that came with Jesus. How many of you feel that any time from now, a great and mighty revival is going to break out in this nation. Unprecedented. Unprecedented revival is going to break out in this nation. So we know that God, in his infinite wisdom, has orchestrated for the new creature a mechanism that is compatible with him and he has established that mechanism or the truth that for those who are justified, if they will be able or if they acknowledge the life of faith, then they will experience the fullness of God. Now, God does not need faith. Let's say it together. God does not need faith. Say it louder. Say one more time. God does not need faith because God is not flesh. He's not flesh. God does not need what? Faith because God is not flesh. Numbers 23 and verse 19, God is not a man. Literally meaning God is not flesh. Or God is is not of this world or God is not subject to the structures of this world. Are we together? It is man who needs faith. Man needs faith because even at man's most advanced level of development intellectually, it is still irrelevant in the realm of the invisible. Counsel, even at your highest level of learned development is still irrelevant in the realm of the invisible. Amazing. That however much you academically develop or intellectually develop, it is inconsequential in the realm of the invisible. It is of no effect. It is a vanity, so to say. That combine all the researches and all the discoveries that have, that have been or will ever be at their most developed state. They are still useless, according to David, in the realm of what? Of what? Of the invisible. They are still of no effect. Psalms 94 and verse 11. The Lord knows the thinking process of man that they are a mere breath. Or they are vanity. And uh, Paul also quotes the same verse in First Corinthians 3 and verse 20. And he says, and again the Lord knows the reasonings of the wise that they are useless. Not that they are useless 
in the sense of you are living here, but they are useless in the sense of eternal things, things concerning eternity, okay? Your chemistry and your psychology and your philosophy on things concerning eternal things is useless. Colossians 2 verse 8, see to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception according to the traditions of men and according to the elementary principles of the world, rather according to who? To Christ. In the Greek there, the philosophy that takes you captive in the Greek is philosophia. Someone say philosophia. <laughs> philosophia. philosophia you know in those days there was, there was a lot of traditions the Jews have a lot of traditions even the Baganda have a lot of traditions so this philosophia is referring to the various mosaic institutions that you know whenever you put human beings in place even in worship places we try to be more clever than God. <laughs> we want to show God how to serve God. That you need to advertise, you need to publicize, you need to pray, you need to have overnight prayers, you need to collect money, you need to go to America. You know, you are trying to be more clever. You are helping God. You are trying to help God. That's why you hear many preachers burning out. That they are burning out. They need to go for holiday. How can a man of God, who, who is carrying the word of God, go for holiday? Man of God, there are things I don't believe. Number one, me, who is renewed by the word of God to burn out. Even if you wake me up at 2 a.m. and say, here are people preach to them Shabrage Dada. I will have something to say that I'm going to holiday to rest and you go to the beach this is our beach right now we are resting in America Preachers even retire. And they have a retirement package. Man of God, we will not retire. We shall refire. Iketa lumbres keda parade. Ikaraba mama. That now faith life begins to pay me salary. <laughs> that now you pay me salary. That every month <laughs> that you have salary. <laughs> ah, my father owns silver and gold and cattle on a thousand hills. Why do I want your salary? Barina. They don't barina. <laughs> okay. Now, God's preferred way for us to live is discernment. Someone say discernment. <clears throat> as men as led by the Spirit, they are what? The sons of God. The highest level of living is discernment. When man fell, he fell from discernment to what? Reasoning. Discernment to what? Reasoning. All of a sudden now, man must fend for himself. He must create a garment to cover himself. He must till the ground so he can get food. He must begin to, to make discoveries. Because he has fallen from discernment to what? To reasoning. 
You see, when you walk in discernment, you demystify time. When you walk in reasoning, you have to go through a process. Say after me, it is impossible to be led by the Holy Spirit and be full of doubt and fear and uncertainty. Say it again. It is impossible. Yes. 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 If the fruit of what you are listening to is doubt, fear, uncertainty, double-mindedness, it is coming from a different source. Because when it is coming from God, it has the effect or the fruit has to always be faith. The effect has to be what? Say after me, the Holy Spirit always leads me in the direction of believing. No other direction. If it is the Holy Spirit leading you, he will always lead you in the direction of believing. Okay, say this also. Say the Holy Spirit and the Word of God never contradict each other. So if you hear something and it is supposedly from the Holy Spirit, but it is in contradiction to what the word of God says. That is not from God. Don't even waste your time on that one. It's not from God. Say this also. My spirit man, in its most developed state, is dominant over my mental faculties. So I don't live from here, but I live from here. Okay? I live from here to here. My spirit man is here. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. The thing is in your belly, not your stomach, this belly, eh? not this one, okay? But the innermost being. So you don't think you have big belly, so you have big spirit. <laughs> when Jesus says out of, my, out of your belly, he's talking about the innermost. You can see it. You can see that part, but you know, the, that's why it's called the invisible realm. You can it's just like hell and heaven. You have never seen hell. You have never seen heaven. But you believe there is a hell. <laughs> right? And you believe there is a hell. you never seen it. But heaven is more powerful than your home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Let's say this together. Faith is not based on human knowledge. Neither is it a science. But it is the highest law. Yeah, Paul calls it a law in Romans chapter 3 and verse 27. He says it's a law. It's a law just like you know why it is a law? Because of its predictability. It is predictable. It's like the law of gravity. That everything that goes up must do what? You throw something in the air. It has to come down. Apart from when, if you're a witch. Because a witch, one time I was preaching somewhere in, in Busoga, and we were in this pulpit, 
And this wind came and began to move the podium like this <laughs> and lifted us into the air. And my interpreter began to shout, Pastor, can you see Jesus? <laughs> I couldn't see Jesus. I was seeing demons only. I'm looking for how to come down from this podium. <laughs> this was soga? Tabu. They sent us snakes. They sent us bees. Eh? <laughs> My interpreter, man of God, he's saying, Can you see Jesus? I said, Where are we are dying? The podium is moving like this. You know, we are up in the air. You know? And the man is saying, Can you see Jesus? You understand? <laughs> in Jiriano. We used to go there, deep there, in Damutumba, there, deep there. Inside there. And the man is shouting, Jesus! Jesus! He said, Pastor, can you see Jesus? I cannot see Jesus. I'm seeing demons everywhere. And people are running away. But you know, that day, miraculously, the thing broke. 21 witches gave their life to Jesus Christ. My God, we had no intercession team. We had no praise and worship team. Shabaradaka. We didn't have PowerPoint. We didn't have lighting system. We had two men who believed. Let me tell you something. God has never called anybody to begin a ministry or a church. When he says, I'll build my church, he's not talking about a building. He's talking about people. That I have a big ministry in Kampala. Rubbish. You are renting and you say you have a big ministry? Oli Muchisawe. It's a government. And you say you have a big ministry? God called the church to build cities. Right. Nations. Okay. Ask me. Of the nations. And I will give them to you. For an heritage. Not go and build a ministry. More vision. Balakusa. Awonchikubye. It is called the apostolic juggernaut. <laughs> Kalabanga. Kelebanga ga. Go and possess nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I say go and possess nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Someone say yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Injiri again da kunyuma. Oshagera. Injiri ano again da kunyumi da dala. Hmm? Possessing nations. I went to a place called Kota Kinabalu. Power of God was moving, I'm telling you. Shalabasata. Eh? May you possess nations. I say, may you possess nations. I say, may you possess nations in the name of Jesus. Nations shall be yours in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God shall take you to a nation. You shall be a blessing to that nation. You know, the Bible says Isaac, he crossed the Jordan with what? With one staff. He came back what? A mighty company. Okay. Faith. Let's say it together. Faith. Is based on spiritual knowledge. 
or like we said last week, established what? Truth. James 1.21, he calls it implanted knowledge. Faith, let's put it this way. Faith based on implanted knowledge. <laughs> Lay apart all filthiness and superfluous and receive with meekness the what? Engrafted word. So, faith is based on what? Implanted knowledge. Let's say it again. Say louder. <clears throat> First Timothy 3 9, Paul calls faith the mystery, keeping hold of the deep mysteries of faith with a clear what? Conscience. Not because it is mysterious per se, but because it's not of intellectual processing. It's not of intellectual processing. It is in the realm of what I has not seen. Okay? What I has not seen. What has I not seen? I have seen uh, aircraft. I have seen rocket. I have seen big mansions. What God has promised us is more than that. For example, he has promised us a body that will never be sick and never grow old. Okay? That's what he has promised us. That's what I has not seen. He has promised us a new Jerusalem. He has promised us, he has promised us a life eternal. That's what I has not what? Has no sin. If your vision is still in the realm of things seen, you need deliverance. Echechikuru. If your vision is still in the realm of things seen. Big car, big house, big ministry. You need deliverance. That dimension is a follower. He watches you to see the word of God fulfilled in your life. Let me say it again. The dimension of things seen is a follower. It watches the word of God function in your life and follows after that word. Health is a follower. It watches that by your stripes I was healed and follows you. Prosperity is a follower. It watches your giving and is attracted to your giving. Amen. Yes. Someone say amen. amen. Say after me, if my vision is still in the realm of things seen, May I experience deliverance? How about we got deliverance? Okay. Let me say So for there to be a clear picture of faith, there has to be a correct and informed opinion of God according to scripture. Okay? For there to be a clear picture of faith, there has to be a correct and informed opinion of God according to what? Also, there has to be a deliberate execution of spiritual truths. Now, faith is so simple, very, very simple. Faith is when my believing transcends my mountain. Someone say it again. Yes. Say one more time. Yes. Yes. Say louder. Yes. So my believing go to translate my what? 
Because my kingdom currency or kingdom operation method is faith, yeah? It does not live in alignment with a physical system or an economy. It aligns to scripture. It, that's why it is impossible for faith thinking to be logical. Faith thinking is not logical. It is wadiko. It is wadiko. You see, the Bible, the Bible is like a manual with a detailed instruction on how to go about life. Okay? So it's not that you are going to get more faith. No. No, no, no. Except, except for the gift of faith, which is supernatural, of course. Okay? In 1 Corinthians 12, that's a supernatural gift of faith. Which, in verse 11, he says, the Holy Spirit gives as he what? He wills. But the, the faith we received as a gift, according to Ephesians 2 and verse 8, which is different. Ephesians 2, 8 is different from 1 Corinthians 12, from verse 9, and is different from Galatians 5, 22. They're different. Okay? Because one is a supernatural gift, especially healing evangelists. Okay? Healing evangelists. And also... Another one is a fruit as a result of seed. The seed of the word that produces the fruit of faith. But also you have the gift that God has given every human being. By grace, you are saved. Not of you is a gift of God. That grace is the same quantitatively and qualitatively. Now, the issue with this faith is in the acknowledgement. Regudimba. Balaskorande. Belmeko Rastia Talaba. Ibrahando Kataya. In the acknowledgement. The acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. That the effective communication of what? My do what? Uh -huh. By what? Or what? Everything Christ accomplished on the cross. God demands that I believe in the thing I cannot see. It's a demand. Man of God, God demands that you believe that he gave you Uganda. No matter what every Uganda say, it's not inconsequential. You understand? It's inconsequential. We are getting the blessed man of God where your enemies are going to bless us without a choice. Your enemy come to you and he bless you. As soon as he turn back, he comes back to his flesh and he says, what have I just done? On her way back, On her way back, she said, What have I just done? It's called the power of believing. Someone say, yeah! Yeah! 
I see someone rising. I see someone rising. I see you going to a level that is higher than you. I am telling you, I see the power of God coming upon you for another level. Woo! Shimalakinama. 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 I see hospitals empty because of the healing power of Jesus. I see policemen jobless because of the power of wickedness broken in the name of Jesus. I see cinema halls turning into churches because of the power of the Holy Spirit. I tell you, if you don't believe, Jesus said, the poor will always be among you. They will always be there. <laughs> they will always be there. Why? Because there are those who want to believe. Yeah, so the poor, I am not part of those who will, will always be there. No way. If you, that's not my portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Vanange, poverty is painful. There's only one good thing about poverty. Only one. It is humble. <laughs> Do you know, some people, one time, I was praying, Lord, make me humble. Make me humble. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, that's not a good prayer. Because what you need is not humility. It's the fruit of the Spirit. Because if you want to be humble, he makes you poor. <laughs> but if you want the fruit, you eat the word of God and you bear fruit. <laughs> Poverty is painful. You sit in a restaurant and you're looking at the menu. You go up and down. Up and down. Poverty is painful, man of God. You sit in a restaurant. You look for food of 4,000, you cannot see. <laughs> and you say, let me go to the bathroom. And then you take the stairs. <laughs> and you disappear. Poverty is humbling. Tell your neighbor, poverty is not my portion in the name of Jesus. No, it's not. It's not. I refuse poverty in the name of Jesus. I refuse poverty. Get out of my life. Get out of my family. Get out of my children. Get out of my ministry. Someone said, get out! Uh -uh, poverty, get out. Uh -uh, this is the last day I will ever lack in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. As soon as I step that door, I shall not lack again in the name of Jesus Christ. He became poor so that I can be rich. He was the best so I can be glorified. No, I'm not going to let it happen. I receive what belongs to me in the name of Jesus Christ. My staff shall not delay. It shall come to me in time. Aren't you tired? That every semester you are going to the whoever he is, headmaster, who begging for more time. Eh? You are telling the landlord, No, 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 no. Poverty is not my portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. You see, poverty can affect your prayers. Instead of praying for the right man that God has ordained for you, you're praying for a rich man who has a Volvo. <laughs> and a Mercedes Benz. 
and a big apartment. <laughs> it's poverty. You say, Lord, if you can only bring me that man eh, who has an apartment and Mercedes Benz and has a bank balance, Lord, you will have answered my poverty get up! Someone shout poverty fire! Fire, fire, fire! Fire, fire, fire! Now I know how to get the church praying in Uganda. Just talk about poverty. People will pray. They will pray and they will begin sweating. <laughs> People will pray, I'm telling you. Talk about poverty. Even those who are sleeping in the church, they say, huh? What is he talking about? He's talking about money. Huh? Oh, can't save it. <laughs> Did you see Benja? He was sleeping. Once I began talking about money, eh? <laughs> he woke up. He said, Gee, what's happening? Eh? Glory to God. I declare none among you shall be poor in the name of Jesus. None among you. We refuse it. We destroy it. We call our money to come from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Let my money come to me now. Mashata raba kata yaba. Mwana gwe kowa kechi komando. Kowa shi komando mwenye ria yesu. Kowa budget, budget inga tetu ukirira. Jikowe. Mwenye ria yesu. Jikowe. Jikowe. Nangirira omukisa. Nangirira amanye. Nangirira sente. Nangirira mafuta. Mwenye ria yesu. Shatipilikarade <laughs> Kindilili manga da de Keremaka Saban Kurire Kendaba Shabata Ketana Nekaba I am telling you, the greatest demonic imprisonment is poverty. It's an enemy. A poor man's anointing is despised. That's what the preacher said. He said, however anointed you are, if you are poor, they despise your anointing. We have men in Uganda who can raise the dead. But they will walk seven kilometers. Raise the dead. No one will give them water to drink. And they will walk back after raising the dead. No documentation of the miracle. No one appreciating them. And they are saying, I am believing God. It is possible to be anointed and poor. Because the anointing is power endued from above for service. Prosperity is a fruit. You bear a fruit because of a seed you have sowed. If you are so anointed, but your eyes are closed, you are so anointed, but your eyes are closed, you cannot understand the scriptures. So, 
so you are releasing anointing but you cannot get a hold of revelation Jesus prayed for them. He said, open their eyes that they may understand the scriptures. Open their eyes. Open their eyes. Open their eyes. The church in Uganda is so anointed but is blind. That's the reason why we have so many mechanisms on how to serve God. We even have pastors and leadership conference to train people to be effective in the ministry. There's no such thing as that. You only need anointing and open eyes and you'll be effective in the ministry. Only two things. There's no methodology. No, anointing and open eyes. When I began to preach, I had one verse. So anointed, I could walk from Bakuli. I go to Mulago, I preach a fiery message. So powerful. And I was fasting all the time. Not because I was zealous, but because I had nothing to eat. One time I fasted 40 days and broke the fast on Mberenge. And my stomach was paining. And I said, in the name of Jesus, it will not pain. In the name of Jesus, I have faith. Faith in suffering. The suffering servant. And I could justify myself. The suffering servant for the Lord. Like Jesus Christ, I'm suffering for the Lord. I glory in my affliction. Hallelujah. And then you get some muogo. And then at night you have trouble. They hear you praying. And they think you're praying deep tongues. The suffering servant. My people perish for lack of knowledge, I'm telling you. Someone say, ignorance, get out now, in the name of Jesus. I'm not a suffering servant, my friend. I am a favored servant of the Lord. Tell three people, I am not a suffering servant. I am a favored servant. Come on, tell them louder, shake them, I am not a suffering servant. Come on, shake them say, I am not a suffering servant. No, 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 no. I am not a suffering servant. No way. I am not a suffering. No, I refuse from today. I refuse to be a suffering servant. Uh -uh, I am not a suffering servant. Because now I understand what faith is. Faith disregards established protocols. It disregards established protocols. It bypasses procedures. It quickens my process. It demystifies science. It is not about empirical findings. Faith is based on what God has said. It is not how you qualify me. It is how he qualifies me. You can qualify me all you want. I am not, I am not raising my ministry based on a standard of men. I am raising myself based on a heavenly standard. Tell your neighbor, I am not a suffering servant. No way. I am a favored servant. Hallelujah. Go and be favored. Go and be blessed. Go and be rich. Go and flourish. Go and possess. Go to another level. Go and make a glorious wedding. May men come from all over the place and fight on your behalf. Yeah. Shatalabakata. 
Karabakatayaba. This time you shall pay your fees without a struggle. This time you shall do your business without a struggle. This time God shall provide for you without a struggle. Because faith calls the things that are not as though they are. We are here to disapprove established procedures. We are here to say God can raise one from a nobody and can make him to become a hero. I declare the rising of heroes in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone say, yeah! <laughs> I like Abraham. He didn't look for ministry. He looked for a city. <laughs> he looked for a city. How many of you are looking for ministry? Praise God for you. <laughs> he looked for a city. I see city builders. Hallelujah. My God. And lift up your hands. Let's pray. Let's pray. Come on, pray to God. My God. My God. My God. Yes. Kuba 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 kuba. Shut baba. Kuba 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 kwenanga. Shita bakata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kuba, 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 kuba. Shilabaresitama. City builders. Nation shakers. Nation shakers. Nation shakers. Oh yes. Nation shakers. Nations. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I am a nation shaker. Yes. China. Brazil. The Americas. Asia. Uganda. My God. Shatandalabayata. The one who holds the key of David. When he opens the door, no man can close it. No one can close it. Yes. Yes, nations. Nations. Remamamama. Nations, come on. Come on, go ahead, louder, nations. Nations, come on, nations. Nations. Yes, nations. Louder, everybody, pray louder, nations. Remasata. Ramama Sata Ikanana Sandaya. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Nation. Yes. Power of God is moving all over this place. Yes, power of God. My God. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. I see nations. I see nations. I see nations. Receive it now. Yes, 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 all over this place, all over this place, receive the touch of God. My God. Yes, all over this place. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's blowing. Fire. I feel I feel angels all over this place walking in this place. Yes. 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 Shatatatatalataya. Shimratalataya. Yes. My brother, come. My brother, come. Yes, yes, yes. Come, come. Yes, sir. yes. Come, 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 come. Yes, yes. Come. Shetana lahataka. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Yes. Bring the lady in the block. The lady in the block. Yes, behind him. Yeah. Shabalahanda kehata. Yes. 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 Power. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up here. Yes, yes, yes. Masha Tata Lakata. Yes, yes. Power, 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 power. Shatatana Lakina Mahanda. Yes. Everybody lift up your hands. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Receive the anointing. My God. My God. Yes, 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 yes. My God, yeah, my God, Shatana na la hena na ka, yeah, yeah, my God, yeah. Mashatare Mama Kandada. My God. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there's power. Come on. 
Shatana. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is power. Fire of God. In the name of Jesus, there is power. Yes. In the name of Jesus, to break every sin, break every sin, break every sin. Yes. To break every sin, break every sin, break every sin. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Yes, 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 to yes. Break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Yes, 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 there yes. There is power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. There is power, there is power. in the name of Jesus. Chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Yes, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. To break, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Yes, 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 yes. To break every chain, 